Wow, even when I'm moving and air is coming in, the visor still fogs up. I complain about that a lot. I realize that and I'm sorry. Am I ever going to get out that way? Probably not. Oh, I can go to Circle K though. Yeah, let's go to Circle K. I complain about this visor fogging up a lot and to be honest, there's definitely some things I could do to remedy that, but your boy's lazy. Your boy's real lazy. I still haven't gotten the battery tender and I just learned recently from uh, my uncle and my cousin that I'm gonna have to run some fuel stabilizer through the gas lines before I hang it up for the winter. Which, who knows, I might not even hang it up for the winter. I just love doing this so much. Probably the best therapy, the therapy, yeah! the best therapy method that I've ever come across is riding on a motorcycle and talking to myself and then posting it on the internet for everybody to see. Cause why not, you know? F it. I don't know if I've ever brought my motorcycle here before. I usually always go to get go. Hey, what's up? All right, let's do this. Perfect. No! Nine! Oh, oh, oh! Cold weather ain't stopping me! No, sir! Maybe eventually. Maybe in like 20 minutes. But not right now, Mr. Green Kia! I get a lot of people in the comments talking about my gloves. And yeah, they are actually golfing gloves for the people that have noticed. I'm surprised people actually noticed that. And uh, there's a couple reasons for that. One is, is that the palms are like this micro suede, which is really, really good for gripping the rubber on a golf club handle, but it's also really good for gripping the rubber on handlebars. So it gives me really good grip. It keeps my hands warmer than if I was wearing nothing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing like five, like no, four, five, four layers. I'm wearing four layers right now. Four layers. Four layers. This wind is numbing my face. It's like razor blades just flying into my face. Nice Toyota, fam. I don't know why I just said that like that. I literally need to stop just to warm up my hands. What happens if I go up on the sidewalk? Oh, oh there we go. It's probably dangerous. But that's kind of my style though, isn't it? Oh, we got another friend coming in here. Hi, right, buddy! That guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. Little does he know. All right, hands warm. Let's go. Oh, snow globe. Where, where are y'all bitches coming from? Yeah, buddy. I get scared every time I ride past a cop. And I have to remind myself that it's not illegal to be riding in 32 degree weather. It's just stupid. <laughs> I missed that. I'm getting a lot of love right now for riding around in 32 degree weather. We cruising, we cruising. Ain't nothing that we losing. There's some free bars for you. Good morning, officer. Wow, there's salt everywhere. That is not good for a motorcycle. Warning, other officer. Okay, gotta warm up my hands again. Oh, jeez. Okay, hands are warm, kind of. This looks awfully suspicious. I would not be surprised if that cop comes and pulls me over. <gasps> Molly! Hi, Molly! Hi. What are you doing here? Workout. Shouldn't you be in Tennessee? No, I'm home for lunch and break. Oh. Well, cool. Yeah. I'm really, really good. That's okay, I'm wearing four layers. I, I thought that was you. Yeah. Are you okay with being in the vlog? Am I in the vlog? Not if you don't want to be. I can cut you out. I don't care. Cool. I look disgusting though. Don't put me in it. <laughs> no, you look fine. Bye, Molly. She's the greatest. Nice guy. Cool overalls, too. Yeah, boy. 
But anyway, wobble, 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 baby, wobble, baby, wobble, baby, wobble, hey, wobble, baby, wobble. Ooh. Oh yeah, there is something really cool that I wanted to talk about. I gotta catch up to this traffic though. You guys are making me look like a slouch. Damn. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the thing I wanted to talk about. I got DM'd on Instagram uh, by a fan of mine, and I got to talking to her a bit, and like I do. And after a while of conversating, she hit me with, by the way, my sister is gonna put in a make-a-wish to meet you. I was, I was. I, yeah. I don't even know what to say right now, let alone in the moment. So I was like, like, make a wish, make a wish? And she was like, yeah. And I had to like ask her some questions to make sure it was legit. So I won't share their personal information, of course. Um, I just want to give them a shout out. Once I like realized that this is like, seemed legit, like I was on the verge of tears, legitimately. Truck guy knows what I'm talking about. Just the fact that somebody likes my content and my personality so much that out of every like celebrity in the universe they chose me to be the ones that they use a make a wish wish to meet me that's like mind blowing i can still barely wrap my head around that so they told me that they're gonna put in an application for the make a wish and i don't know like since i'm like really like barely popular I don't know if that makes the odds better or worse for the application to get accepted. Because on one hand, they're like, well, it's not Tom Cruise, so, you know, this might be easy. But Make-A-Wish could also be like, man, this is a nobody. We're not going to freaking waste our time on him. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I really hope it, it works out. I really want to meet these two wonderful girls. I hope it gets accepted. I hope I get to meet you. All I got to say is, you know, life comes at you fast. Your boys in Make-A-Wish now. And just as a disclaimer, I know you guys are probably going to want a video about that whole experience, but in this, for the sake of the charity of it, and for the sake of their privacy, I'm not probably not going to film any of it. <gasps> so I'm sorry about that, but uh, I think it, it's just best that I don't make a show out of it. I feel like that's a little bit of a mockery of the whole point of Make-A-Wish. It's not about my uh youtube account it's about an experience for these young girls and that's what i want to deliver and i want to focus on that the whole time and not filming and making a video out of it oh that was illegal what is up guys it is your average biker boy here your boy Coming at you again with a very chilly moto vlog. I saw you looking at my bike. Don't you pretend that you didn't. So as you can see, there's like still snow on the ground in some places, but uh, for some reason it's like 50 degrees out. So, Ohio. I'm gonna go to Walmart. I don't think I've ever ridden to Walmart, especially not in a moto vlog. That looks like a fancy neighborhood. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I barely go on this road though, so. The more I look at my shadow, the more I realize how big of a bike this actually is. And the more I think I should not have gotten this for a first bike. Let me tell you, getting a 600cc bike for your first bike is really scary. It is so hard to like find the nuances of shifting, especially uh, downshifting and rev matching and stuff. And like learning how to handle a bike that's so freaking big. It was scary. It was scary, Mr. Scion. Oh, that, he was on his phone. Scions. Man, that was aggressive. Like, I was scared out of my mind trying to learn how to ride a bike that was so big for the first time for my first bike. It was so scary, but like when I was downshifting and I would try to rev match, uh, for the longest time I would always pull too much throttle to try to rev match and then I'd let out the clutch and the RPMs were way too high and the power just like almost threw me off the bike every single time i was so scared to downshift i don't know what i'm doing my visor's up right now by the way so i'm sorry if this is trash hey but hey this is a visor thank you i have no idea what i am doing that one guy was nice though that gave me the thumbs up i appreciated that that made my day let me wave at this guy 
Nothing. Follow this asshole. Freaking speeding through here. No regard for anybody's safety. Freaking prick. Uh, well, I'm gonna be here for a while. Oh, 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 no! Oh. I'm gonna circle back to the whole uh, beginner bike thing. I get people asking me all the time what uh, beginner bike they should get or what's the first bike that she, they should get. Um, I can recommend a handful of bikes, but there is no one best beginner bike. There are bikes that are more suited to beginners, but there's like a lot that are suited to beginners. You know what I mean? I can do a ride on red, I think. Right behind the ambulance. Ha ha, saw it. Wouldn't that be hilarious if I crashed into an ambulance and they're just they just hop out and they're like, oh, just, just get in. I wonder if they would uh give me a fist bump. Oh well, back to the bike thing. Um so I can I can list off some like a Yamaha R3, Kawasaki Ninja 300 or 400. I think I don't think I don't I can't remember right now. I'm riding a motorcycle, so I can't look this up, but I think Suzuki makes a Jixer 300 or a GSXR 300 if you don't know the nickname the nickname is Jixer and uh, Honda CBRs I was looking at CBRs before I settled on an R6 um, I need to get out of this lane so those are like suited towards beginner riders but there's no like one best one if you want the one with the best performance then I think that's the uh, Ninja 400 I think that's the one that uh, beats out all the rest but I mean the other like I said the other 50% is personal preference so you might just hate how the ninja looks and so that one takes it out of the running for you all right uh, you got to take into consideration ergonomics how comfy it is the fuel economy uh, like I said how it looks also I want to do you guys a big favor I just came into contact with this new moto vlogger or at least he's new to me he's he's been doing it for a little while he ha has some of the best content that i've ever seen and i'm gonna link his channel in the description below i'm gonna put a tag up in the top right hand corner of the screen so you guys can go find him his name's the killer cam this dude is ridiculous he's such a cool awesome guy he puts out amazing content oh shit. Oh, oh, it's dirt, dirt. Oh no, oh no, don't, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Pull me through, baby! Woo! Okay, oh, that's for you. And uh, he just puts out some like high, high quality content. And he deserves all the love in the world. He deserves way, he deserves 10 times the amount of the, the, the subscribers that he has now. <gasps> Puppy! Go, oh. I don't know how I feel about these new Jeep pickup trucks. I just feel like it's just slightly an abomination. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to send this to a friend so you guys can have a laugh together. Because after all, it is holiday season and sharing is caring. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.